Hey there, and welcome to my channel, The Paper Bag Investor. Today I want to talk about Tesla Battery Day, which is coming up on September 22nd, and which is something I'm extremely excited about. And uh, we're going to talk about why uh, I'm so excited about it and what you might expect from Battery Day this year. So let's get into it. Battery Day is so exciting because Tesla, really what they're doing and what the world is going to soon experience and is starting to experience is this transition to electric, to electric vehicles. And Tesla is going to be a dominant global leader in this area. They are already and they're going to continue to be. Uh, and the, the foundational, fundamental thing of making the best electric vehicle is really the, the, the key thing is having the best battery possible uh, at the lowest cost. So on Tuesday at Battery Day, we can expect Tesla to unveil a number of innovations to improve battery manufacturing, cell chemistry, and overall lower costs. And just Tesla's overall ambition is to move from what they currently produce, which is 35 gigawatt hours of, of battery uh, at their Giga Nevada site. And they want to move to a terawatt hour, which is equivalent to a thousand gigawatt hours. So it's about a 30 times increase in battery production. And at that terawatt hour um, range, say the average vehicle has 50 kilowatt hour battery in the future, which is the standard range Model 3, the base range Model 3, then that equals out to, that would be a capacity for 20 million uh, vehicles worth of batteries. I'm sure Tesla actually wants to go beyond this because they probably want to have produced more than 20 million vehicles a year in the future, and they want to produce energy storage systems, which is going to take more capacity as well. So this 30x increase is just really the starting point for Tesla. And the question is, how is Tesla going to achieve this dramatic increase in, in battery production and also uh, lower the costs of batteries? And there's a number of ways you can do this. Number one is you can increase the factory size. You just literally make the factory bigger, you build more factories. Uh, this, is, this is a very expensive option. Obviously you need to build 30 gigafactories to get to that terawatt size, extremely expensive. And is the simplest way to increase production capacity, but is also the most expensive. So you can expect Tesla is going to build more factories, but they're going to need a lot more innovation and improvement. The next would be to increase the cell density. Basically it means make your batteries themselves more efficient. So for every battery you produce, you're getting more energy storage. And no one knows exactly what these chemistry improvements could be, but there's three uh, quick ones I'm going to overview that they, they might see on battery day. Number one is going to a single crystal cathode, which you may have heard referred to as the million mile battery. And essentially what this is, is the cathode material is actually being, the crystal structure is tighter, which makes the battery longer lasting and more durable. The next improvement in the cell chemistry could be a titanium oxide coating, which would essentially coat the crystal structure and again make it more durable as well. And would also allow faster charging and supposedly also could be done at a lower cost. And the third big chemistry improvement we could see is an improved electrolyte formula from Dalhousie University, which is really from Jeff Don, who's the mastermind, his research group works, for, works with Tesla, works for Tesla, and supposedly has an improved electrolyte filling that this is what goes inside each battery cell. Okay, so that is a few of the uh, cell chemistry, the actual cell product itself, improvements we might see. But the other improvements we might see from uh, Tesla are improvements in manufacturing, where you either can compress the manufacturing space required and or speed up the process of the manufacturing. And these are the kind of major improvements Tesla will need in these areas to go from this uh, 35 gigawatt hours to 1000 gigawatt hours or a terawatt hour capacity that I talked about. So the first manufacturing and product improvement we're going to talk about is Tesla's acquisition of Maxwell Technologies in May 2019. And essentially with a lithium ion battery, you have a th how it's made or what it's made out of is, is a thin separator material, very, very, very thin material. And then that's coated with anode and cathode material. And then these long strips of material with this coating on it are rolled up very tightly and put into a battery cell. And currently, how these are made, this the coating anode cathode material that's coated on, and currently it's done so with a wet slurry solution where it's coated on in a wet form onto the strips. And it takes a drying process, and the drying process can take a lot of factory space and a lot of and a lot of time in the whole process. But Maxwell Technologies, who Tesla acquired, supposedly has a dry system that, that, that where the anode and cathode is applied to the separator material directly in a dry form, which 
Obviously, you don't need the drying process, so it takes a little, it compresses your, your um, factory size for that. But it's also faster because you don't need the drying time as one of the process steps. And supposedly also makes the battery chemistry better. It's a, it's a superior actual product itself than the wet slurry solution. The next design improvement and also manufacturing improvement because of that design change that we'll probably see Tesla unveil is the tabless electrode. Current batteries have a tab at the bottom of the, and top of the cell that connect it. Tesla has a design to rather offset the electrode and connect without the tabs, which mo removes a manufac manufacturing step and also decreases the chance of error in the manufacturing of the cells. Next improvement we could see, manufacturing improvement we could see Tesla unveil has to do with their uh, acquisition of Hybar Technologies in October 2019. And Hybar Technologies is a global leader in precision battery cell manufacturing. And really what this has to do is, is, is after you have that thin separator material that's coated with can a cathode and anode material and then coiled up, it's actually put inside a shell and basically capped and it's filled with an electrolyte formula. And basically what this high bar acquisition brings to the table is they have a very streamlined process of applying a vacuum to the cell, which then sucks into the electrolyte formula very efficiently and very accurately. So this could be huge to the overall improvement as well. And another improvement Tesla likely will make is making the actual battery cells themselves larger. You make the cells themselves larger, uh, then of course you can have more energy inside of each cell and you need less cell casing, less cells to put together in each battery pack. But the problem with this approach is that when you have a larger cell, then the temperature control, being able to control the, the cooling of that cell is more difficult. But there's likely new modern ways that this can be managed that, that Tesla has innovated in. So it's very likely that the cells themselves will be larger. And another improvement we'll likely see uh, which again is another design change which makes the manufacturing also of the of the batteries also better is that they'll probably get rid of the cell modules and go directly from cell to a battery pack so currently um, batteries have been built with battery cells that go into battery modules and then the modules go into the pack and the reason it was done this way was originally uh, if they had cell issues um, it was easier just to take a whole battery module and swap that out for a new module essentially narrowing the problem down to one whole section or module. But the battery production and the cell production has gotten so much better that there's less chance of error that you really don't need these modules. You can go directly from the cells to the packs. This is likely another improvement that we'll see from Tesla. And the final improvement we want to talk about is the Roadrunner line. You may have heard buzzwords about this, the Tesla Roadrunner line. Really, what is that? It's, a, it's just a combination of all of the above technologies that Tesla plans to use and any others that we haven't seen rumored or don't haven't speculated on. All coming together to make a much faster manufacturing line that takes less space and can produce batteries at a lower cost. And really, it's exciting because on battery day, we should see a walkthrough of this pilot line functioning. It's one thing, uh, when it comes to manufacturing, it's one thing just to talk the talk. It's one thing just to name these different possible technologies. Uh, it's a whole other thing to actually put them into practice, into working order. And I hope we see that from Tesla. So there you have it. That's what I think we could see from Tesla for battery day. Again, it's so exciting because it really shows us, should show us how Tesla plans to go from where they're currently at um, as, a, as still a battery leader in the world, but to something, uh, you know, 30 times the size in production capacity. And I just want to say, as I say in all my videos, um, this is not, an, uh, I'm not trying to sell Tesla on you. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy with a paper bag on his head who loves investing and thinking about the future. And if you love investing and thinking about the future, I really encourage you to uh, hit that subscribe button down below while you're at it. Uh, hit that like button. And uh, if there's anything I missed, um, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, cheers.